So hi everyone, um, as promised this is my second uh, scrappy haul instalment. These were all the extra goodies that I treated myself to from Lottie Loves Paper recently. Um, I was quite surprised when I got the box through the post. It contained my design team kit which I showed you on my previous um, video um, but I'd done lots of little orders here and there and also taken advantage of some of the bits in the sale so um, yeah it soon all adds up and it was quite a weighty um, pizza box so anyway here we go this is my scrappy haul I loved some of the papers from um, Chamel I thought they were beautiful so these papers are from Head in the Clouds and I didn't have them um, at all in my collection I love all the the butterflies on the sheets of paper, perfect for fussy cutting for me, but I also really liked the back sides of those papers. So I'm showing you the A's and the B sides at the same time. So these papers here are from Amy Tangerine, Picnic in the Park. The rainbow paper is quite apt for um, today's current situation in the world. Everyone loves the rainbow and they're quite trendy. But I also love some of the bright feels to some of these papers and um, that black stripey paper. I've seen loads of layouts using black stripes and um, I think they're really, really effective. Help those bright colors pop off the page even more. So I'm excited to use that. And I love this um, script paper from the Picnic in the Park collection. Really, really nice sayings on it. This moment, the good life. Um, state of mind perfect for today and again more rainbows you cannot go wrong with rainbows so I've already used some of these papers in a layout that I'll be sharing with you in about a week's time I love the blue in that collection blue and purples they're some of my favorite colors I don't think I use them enough but um, yeah I love those those cute ditzy little hearts on like a purpley background all the fun colours and then like a polka dotty yellow and then I never got my hands on some of the Chamel Never Grow Up and I was really disappointed I don't know about you guys to hear that she's not continuing with American Crafts anymore so um, I was eager to get my hands on some of her supplies so I treated myself to what I could of the Never Grow Up collection and also bought double of some of the sheets because I like the paper so much. So this is the um, the thicker sticker collection. I love some of those sayings and I like like the grow and the wonder. Perfect words, it's quite universal. You could use those on loads of pages but um, everyday magic. Super cute. And uh, then I got the ephemera collection. Sorry, I'm trying to focus it in for you so that you can see what close up what is in there. A few little tags and um, some more. I love the little snail there. He's really, really cute. Really sweet. Uh, a few little journey bits. And then these bits at the top, the jars and everything, they're actually made of like um, a vellum. So really quite different. Never used anything like that on layouts before. So quite excited to be using those. I thought this cut apart sheet was lovely, but I loved the back side of it as well. You can see those stars on like a pale background. The colours are just divine, so two sheets of that. <laughs> you can never have enough, can you, right? I always run out of papers that I love and wish I bought double, so this time I did. So, I'm liking the, um, the clouds and rainbow paper as well. The reverse bit's like noty, but I wasn't too keen on it. I preferred the, the sky paper but I thought I could fussy cut some and use some as just a plain sheet so that's why I got two of those. So really nice cut apart sheet here from Chamel in that collection and then again the back side is just a really nice colour so uh, you could use them with anything really. I had to get a sheet of this alphabet paper. You can never have enough alphabets right and my idea was to be able to fussy cut those out and make my own titles with them. So the colours in this collection are just absolutely divine. Just, oh, I just love them. The, the blues and teal colours are absolutely beautiful. 
and I think they do coordinate with some of her old collections as well, which is why I got some of the other papers. So beautiful butterflies on the A side of that, you can't have enough of those, and I love this side as well, it's like a real dark navy blue with like tiny little sort of leaf print on. Excuse my focusing again. <laughs> right, now on to Paige Emma's Bloom Street. Fussy cutting those florals and the green is lovely on the other side. I've already had a sheet of that which I started to use so treated myself to another piece. Again this like, I don't know what you would call it, it's almost like when you um, put paste on top of water and blow bubbles and then put your paper on top um, and the effect you get. Loving that paper. Already used that so bought some of that. The cut apart sheet um, is a new addition to my stash of this collection that I have at home. Um, you can never go wrong with a cut apart sheet. Great for grid design layouts. Really lovely. And the colours in this collection are so pretty and delicate. Now, I'm not sure how I'd use that back piece, but um, we'll, we'll give it a go. I used this piece of paper on a layout recently and I bought it for the fact to cut the words out and then didn't use it on that sheet of, um, on that layout. So I had to get <laughs> had to. Um, really needed it obviously um, to get another sheet of that paper. I just love all the words on it. It's um, it's so lovely. And that's the reverse of it, the clover, which yeah it's okay but not my favourite. Now this side of the paper, the B side of that sheet of diamond paper is my favourite. I love like that watercolour mottly effect. I think it would work perfectly for background and also look it does actually link in really nicely to some of the Chamel um, Never Grow Up collections so that's perfect. Mix and match collections, why not? Another piece of that beautiful pink fresh rainbow paper because I'd used all of that up and you've got to have rainbows. And then I'm moving on to the, um, the crepe paper collection. Uh, let me just find it. Got so much paper here, it's just a magical forest, that's it. Um, I love those puffy stickers. They've got like a coppery shimmer tone to them. Really, really pretty when you catch the light. I don't know if you can see there. And some lovely sayings, just be you. And rainbows again, rainbows seem to be across all the collections at the moment. And Sarah kindly ordered me in some of these fabric rainbows. And I know a lot of people have been making their own, quite um, trendy at the moment. I'm guessing I, if I put them on a layout, I'd have to use my hot glue gun, but I just love the tactile feel to them um, and the tassely bits at the end, really pretty colors. So that is a challenge for me to use those on a layout, so we'll, we'll see how we go there. Now I just wanted to buy some papers that would go with it, so the numbers you could um, cut out, but again, like this dotty side you could cut those um, dots out, it goes with the reverse of that pink fresh paper from earlier. Lots of fussy cutting opportunities, but I really liked the B sides of these papers, the colours. More rainbows. So I'm actually excited to use lots of rainbows, but this mustardy yellow and then this um, sheet of paper, you can cut those words out. I'm always looking for papers that I can, you know, make the most of and make as many layouts as possible with. So that's perfect for me, cutting words out. Just adds something a little bit different to your layouts. Cute little mushrooms. And then these are like um, the dot outlines of a, of a rainbow shape. Oh, that piece there, so love it. And then the piece of resistance that I bought, I treated myself to the um, vellum from the collection that has got foiled rainbows on. Let me just get it into focus for you. There, I don't know if you can see when the light catches it. How pretty is that? Really got no clue at the moment how I'm going to use it. Um, but up for the challenge. I don't know whether maybe I'd make my own um, tag album or something and use that as an insert, but who knows? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my scrappy haul. I did go a bit mad. There is loads there for me to be getting on with, so it looks like I'm going to be busy for a while. Take care. Bye.